The Safe Cities project is basically about teaching community members to empower themselves. It's a project that assists community members who are downtrodden. Safe Cities works to address cross-cutting issues such as poverty, unemployment, drug abuse, gang activity and violence. We found out the common problems that we face, drug addiction, violence, crime, um, teenage pregnancy, poverty, housing. And as an organization combined with local residents, religious leaders, we came together and we said we got to do something about our communities. How can we help people, empower people to take action and help um, change their situations? Project leaders want to revitalize neighborhoods and educate residents in order to collectively identify problems and develop solutions for problems that have plagued these communities for years. We want to um, empower them to such an extent that you can see the change, you can feel the change, and you can be the change and the face within your family and in the community as a whole. We have helped in the community better the, the, and change the lives, the young lives of young adults, and I mean just being seeing the, the result of their lives being changed. What we do here is, is phenomenal because we actually are helping the community to acquire skills that they didn't have, make them employable actually. And I myself have learned quite a lot. Safe Cities has developed different programs. The main purpose is to upskill these residents. One of the beneficiaries of this project is Christopher White. White started working for Safe Cities as a volunteer. At the time, he felt he had no sense of purpose. Through this project, he's now a qualified teacher. The impact that Safe Cities had upon my life was to boost me from a low person with a low self-esteem to somebody that can find confidence within themselves. There was no hope, there was no future. It was just, everything in my life was just dark until I came across Safe Cities. If it had not been for Safe Cities, I would probably just be one of the statistics in our communities um, sitting on corners of the streets and having no hope. Practical skills attained here include bakery skills, voluntary training, even block making. Our skills have been developed as individuals. It has enlarged our capacity. We, are able, we, were, we were able to learn different things and by doing so, improving our lifestyles, our life styles for our children has also become better. I've been living on the church ground for more than 15 years. And all my life I was living there. There wasn't running water. There was a facility of toilets. In my community, I can say, there is a big change. We are doing a lot of projects. And um, in my family, it's still in process of changing. Project leaders encourage residents from the surrounding communities to join safe cities to empower themselves and their communities. Yudisan Jamila, CGTN, Cape Town, South Africa.